video is to go over what a citation is. So what is a citation? And um, the best way to break this down is by going over the two types of citations that we're going to have. And the first one is analog or physical work. So something that you can physically hold like a document. Uh, a perfect example of this is your ancient civilizations textbook that is analog or is a physical work that you can cite. The, another example is digital work. Okay, so you're going to be citing digital work that includes things like YouTube videos. It also includes things like online articles, websites that you might get information from. So in order to show you what citations are, we're going to look at some examples, some things that you might already know. And when we're writing, we use citations uh, when we use the red fortify hawk talk card so when the red fortify hawk talk card pops up uh, you know that you will be citing physical or digital work so either websites or information from a website or information from a book or a printout now one of the ways that you can cite physical work and or digital work is by using certain phrases from your Hawk Talk card that indicate that you are citing. And that kind of stuff looks like this over here. So you can use things like according to the source. We'll look at this first one, the most basic citation here. According to source number one. Now you can use this type of stuff when you have things like the SBAC test. And it gives you some directions and the task. And then it gives you a heading, so understanding the value of multivitamins. But then it also gives you a source number. I also have tasks built into Schoology that gives you source numbers. And if that happens, okay, so you have source number one, uh, source number two, and I believe there's a source number three, yeah, source number three right there. So if you have that, you can cite using the source numbers without having to have an author or a date or the title. You could use the title, but that's really long. To save time and to save energy, you can just use the source number. So let's take a look at the example here. So the question was explain, explain the benefits some people experience from vitamin supplements. Provide two details from different sources. To support your answer identify the source of each detail by title or number so it says you can identify the source of each detail by title or number so we're going to be using number source number it also says to provide two details okay two details not one from different sources so different sources mean you have to use more than just one so let's like look at my example here so I wrote there are many benefits uh, some people can experience from taking vitamin supplements. What I mean is, only some people can benefit from taking vitamin supplements. According to source number one, people who are older can help to get some of the recommended units of daily vitamin D by taking vitamin D supplements in pill form. So I used according to source number one. So we know that I got that information from the article... What's the article name? That's right, Understanding the Value of Multivitamins. So I got that information from Understanding the Value of Multivitamins. It's actually right around here. Right around here. So that was from source one. That takes care of one of the two details. So one of the two details means I'm half done. I need another detail from another source. Okay, that's the important part. So let's look at what I wrote. Some older adults also require B12 vitamins to stay alert and focused. Source number two. The title. That's right, it could be old age or it could be low B12. So it's a lot easier to write source number than it is to actually go through and write this whole title down. And this won't always be how you cite. As you get older, you'll have to include more information. 
but right now take advantage of the fact that you don't have to make complete citations in MLA format or APA format yet. So let's go on uh, back over to our list here of other examples. So we took care of this sample example right here. So according to uh, source number one, uh, this is an example from one of our assignments where we label the sources and so you were able to use the source numbers when you were citing them. So the ancient Egyptians raised two crops in the same area because of the nutrient rich soil. So where is the citation at? I want you to look at your screen and point to where the citation is at. That is right. The citation is right here, okay, according to source number one. Let's look at the next example. So this is also using a physical uh, work here, our, our ancient civilization textbooks, which actually is also available in digital form, but we can cite it the way that we do a analog work because it is originally an analog format that we are all familiar with. According to ancient civilizations, the ancient Egyptians raised two crops in the same area because of the nutrient-rich soil. So right here, I said, according to ancient civilizations, so I gave the title of the book that I was citing, and I provided a page number where the information that I cited could be found. So this is a very thorough um, citation because not only does it include the name of the piece being cited, in which uh, this is our ancient civilization textbook, but it also gives the page number that the information is found. So this allows me, it allows whoever else is reading to go look at page 98 in ancient civilizations and find this uh, thought, okay? And so remember, you just look to the Hawk Talk card, the red Hawk Talk card for Fortify to find these phrases here. So these are good transition phrases to use. They, uh, they're also signal phrases. They signal that a citation is being made, that the information here is not just from you, but it is from somebody who's more knowledgeable than just you. So let's scroll down to the next one. And the next one is according to the text, and again, this is taken right from the red uh, Hawk Talk Fortify card. It's one of these signaling phrases for, again, another citation appearing. According to the text, the ancient Egyptians raised two crops in the same area because of the nutrient rich soil. So the same information, but we cited it a bit differently, okay? This was not the citation in this case. This was the signal phrase signifying that a citation will be made. And then the citation appears in between the parentheses right here where it says the title of the piece being cited as well as the page number. And again, make sure that you always have, if it's not there, you always have parentheses around them. And that makes, uh, makes it a, uh, the reader aware that there is not just random text that you're putting inside of your own text, but this is actually a citation. Let's go down to the next few examples here. Sample paragraphs with in-text citation. So as you get older, and this is maybe a little bit more advanced, so if you're just barely scraping the surface of the parenthetical citations and all the complexities of citations themselves, you can either fast forward to the digital part or kind of pause and rewind and watch the first part. If not, I'm going to kind of take you through what's happening here. So when we look at uh, in-text citations, it's a nice way of what we kind of just did right over here um, in a few different ways. So sometimes you don't need a signaling phrase like you have up here uh, that you get from your Hawk Talk card. Sometimes you can just start writing and then cite using uh, the... I would prefer the title of the work being cited and the page number um, or the author and the page number. And you can just kind of, as they've written here, there's no signal phrase, but this idea um, came from this author. Okay, not the author who wrote this entire piece, but this author right here, Teagle. Okay, 
So some circulated a petition stating a refusal to play with him, but very few signed. Okay, Teagle. So this is from the author who wrote this entire two paragraphs, but they want to give credit where credit's due, and so they put the author's name in citations. Uh, this happens again in the third. This is a quotation from Jackie Robinson himself, and so they have this uh, paraphrased quote here. And it continues in that way where it has the author's name and the page number again. Now, there's no signal phrase, but those are also correct citations. The signal phrase is helpful because it helps you to realize that there is a citation necessary and it helps you to set up the citation and it sounds good if you the rest of your writing isn't so good. All right, so let's go down to the uh, oh work cited real quick. Uh, that is something that sometimes we do. It's not really a uh, priority standard that we're working on in sixth grade, but it will be something that people call for in seventh and definitely eighth grade. Uh, high school you can count on any normal level English class most likely requiring a work cited. There's different ways to format them, meaning there's different ways to show how it looks. But I just wanted to show you an example. We're not going to get too much into it. Some of you have done these before in fifth grade. I know when I did the state proje projects, we used to do a work cited list. And I think we've done a work cited list before in here. So let's go down to digital work. Um, this one we did from. So I had you guys go. So let's take a look. This was actually for Egyptian pharaohs. So if you remember when we were in Egypt and we had the defining a leader, we had uh, engage what are pharaohs. And I believe we had to listen to the sound clip here. Okay, so the sound clip, it actually, we had to cite the sound clip, source number three, okay? Uh, I labeled it, so all you had to cite it by was the source uh, number, as you see here, so let's zoom in. So the source number three, and all you had to do was cite this uh, sound clip Ancient Egypt. by source number three. However, if we wanted to get a little bit deeper, this sound clip, and I didn't share this with you, but this is where I got the sound clip. It came from a website. So if we were to actually go through and cite this as a digital work and it didn't have a source number, but you needed to cite it by the title, you would do pretty much the same thing that you do with a physical work. So you'd use the title of the work being cited, but sometimes there's websites uh, that have no title. So there's no title really or the title isn't clear. So if there is no title, use the website's title name. So that's the best thing to do. You could just use the web address if you were confused. And then you could use um, the author's name if there is one. If there's not, don't worry about it. Uh, use the date when there is one. It just gives people an idea of when this was accessed. So if it's something that's been taken off the internet, it's not actually, uh, they're not going to be looking for it going, oh my gosh, where is this? Well, it was put up in 1987. It's probably not there anymore. Uh, always remember to cite digital sources of information. Okay, so don't, just because it's a website or something that doesn't have a clear um, title or clear author or date, don't just ignore it uh, because you could get in plagiarism trouble with that as well if you don't cite uh, accordingly. So let's look at what the, let's look at what it actually looks like to cite the sound clip. So we actually got this from a website called Ducksters. So we went to Ducksters and then Ancient Egypt. And then we went to Pharaohs. And so if you see here, what I did to cite this was I said according to the sound clip, so that was the transition phrase or the signaling phrase, a citation will be coming. Egyptian pharaohs were rulers of ancient Egypt, pharaohs 2020. So I got the title 
pharaohs. And I got the date. right down here. So most all websites have a date. It's easy to get on and see where they're at. They're usually at the bottom, okay? Sometimes at the very top. Rarely in the middle though. So that's what I did to make that example and that's a really easy way of citing uh, digital work. So I believe that wraps it all up for Citations, we took a look at what citations look like, what they look like in CASP, uh, what the most simplest form of them are, how they relate to the Hawk Talk cards, and uh, you have the rest of the slideshow to get to.